We're here at uh, Unpub Mini, the first one in uh, Philadelphia, Red Cap's Corner. And um, this is uh, John, who is uh, in charge of the Unpubs. Yeah. He's the organizer, the creator, um, providing a great service to uh, designers. I, I hope, I hope. And uh, can you tell us a little about what you want to accomplish with this? Basically, um, what I really want to have happen with, with the Unpub is I want to start to create a great, uh, a better physical community of game designers who get to get, out, get their games out on the table. As a designer, we find ourselves playing our games with our friends a lot or thinking about how they're going to play or what they're going to do. And this allows us an opportunity to get out, put the games on the table, and get other people to play them. Other designers as well who have uh, ideas that can help us. I, we, we find ourselves insulated a lot, afraid of somebody going to steal our ideas or things like that. But getting out there and doing it has shown me that that's really not the case, that people are excited and happy to play games and talk about them and we just want to provide a place and an ability for people to go and do that. We have a lot of designers here today. I think there's a, six, six different designers sitting around right now. I've got a seventh one coming a little bit later and we're just here to play games and have fun. Uh, we got people coming into the store. There's three or four, five, five or six people in the store now who are sitting down, sitting down to play some of the games. And um, that's what it's about. We're going to sit, we're going to play games, the people are going to play the games with the designers, the designers are going to talk to them, get valuable feedback, and then go back and improve their games so they can actually sell them to publishers like them and get them on everybody's tables. And game shows and game stores and everything. So you people at home can play the games. Um, so you've already had a couple of larger unpubs. We have we've done the unpub twice. We did uh, one in both of them in, in, have been in Delaware, the state of Delaware, in Dover, Delaware, in, in January of 2011 and now of 2012. We have doubled our attendance in, in, uh, from the second event, double the attendance of the first event, which was awesome. Um, we're bringing people from other states: Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Um, we had the guys from Virginia, North Carolina. And, Seattle, Washington, or not Seattle, Washington, Washington State, I'm not say that. at the Unpub 2, and we're hoping that's, that's going to grow. Um, and we've started doing these minis now because, well, I think it helps out the stores to generate some more traffic for the stores, and it lets some of these local guys get more of a chance. The big Unpub, there's a lot of games going on, a lot of stuff happening, and it's really quality feedback that, that is given. But now we can make it a little smaller, a little tighter, a little more intense. Individuals get a little more attention. Um, there's just so much to do with the big one that you can't have a half hour conversation after a game with somebody. Here there's only six games. You're going to probably get to play every single one of them by the end of the day. So that you can spend a little more time giving your personal attention to each game. Which is a have uh, unpub designers had uh, success so yes. far? Yes. Um, you know, let me let me step back to where this the whole thing really started from was um, the Rio Grande Game Design Contest. They don't run it every year. They, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I went to a um, a regional for that in Washington D.C. and uh, I came in second place with my game. And another guy came in third place, and uh, I became friends with him. Um, T.C. Petty the third, and his name is Viva Java the Coffee Game, which is just a very successful run on Kickstarter. <laughs> um, he picked up a publisher. After playing his game with me uh, and with, at, at the first Unpub, we did another one of these unofficial Unpub minis in uh, Glen Burnie last year. He played it there. And his game got better every time. And we, we did other playtesting along the way. Came back to Unpub 2 in January this year, having found a publisher and ready to go. I found a publisher from one of my games. There's another um, another guy we, we, we've used at a couple of these Unpubs who was at the, the Game Con for Rio Grande. Um, and he's got two of his games that have been sold to publishers. I just found out about another one who uh, his game appeared in Unpub 2 this year, um, and the unofficial one last year, Glenn Burney. He's just just picked up a publisher. It's, I can't tell you who. I can't say any more about that right now because there's a gag over on that. We're pretty good about that. Another guy who was at uh, one of these Unpubs and a game of his was presented blind for blind playtesting at Unpub 2. He just found a publisher for one of his games. Um, so we're 
finding that these games are, these designers are finding publishers for their games. Is it because of us? Not necessarily. Not really, in most cases. But are they getting help through our program? Yes, they are. And we want to amplify that in the future with some of the things that we're offering now. We're going to continue talking with several publishers about how Unpub.net can help them. Um, and we've got the feedback form to see. So we're continuing to gather stronger uh, independent feedback to be helpful to the publishers. So we're, we're trying to step into that. Into that. So if there are uh, any designers out there who are looking to uh, join, uh, to work with Unpub and to share in uh, the success that seems to be sprouting from it, how can they uh, contact you? Contact me at john at cartrunk.net. J-O-H-N at cartrunk.net. C-A-R-T-R-U-N-K. All right. Thank car truck's not an actual word. I, I, I've gotten that. Supposedly it's two words. I made it one word, and I was told after the fact, John, that's only one word. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I stuck with it. It's, it's part of who I am. And uh, do you have a uh, Twitter account? I am um, Car Truck Ent because it's Car Truck Entertainment, so it's, they wouldn't let me have the full word. It's Car Truck Ent. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Mike.